For most of you currently watching this video, we're going to go out on a limb and assume that coffee is a staple of your morning routine. When it comes to actual nutritional value of coffee, however, not everyone can seem to agree on whether or not this caffeinated drink can be considered healthy, especially for people who are trying to lose weight. For anyone trying to shed off a couple extra pounds or just trying to maintain a healthy diet, you should probably be aware of the fact that coffee contains both pros and cons when it comes to helping with managing your weight. Let's take a closer look at that cup of joe you pour yourself every day and let's see how it can affect your weight loss regime for the better, as well as for the worse. While you wait for us to brew a fresh pot of facts, feel free to pass the time by clicking on the subscribe button and ringing the notification bell to stay up to date on all of our daily content. Let's start with some of the positives about coffee. On its own, black coffee is extremely low in calories. And when we say extremely, we mean it. One cup of black coffee contains as little as two calories. However, the same can't be said for some of coffee's most popular additives, such as cream, milk, and sugar, all of which add additional surplus calories to your morning brew. If you're trying to lose a significant amount of weight or even just drop a few extra pounds, you're probably better off taking your coffee black. The fact that coffee is so low in calories makes it a healthy and weight loss friendly alternative to many other beverages as well, such as sugary sodas and other soft drinks. In addition to being low in calories, coffee has a high caffeine content which can potentially help your weight loss routine by speeding up your body's metabolism. By boosting your metabolism, the number of calories you burn also increases, which can help you lose weight at a faster rate as a result. Don't cancel your gym membership just yet, though. According to experts, it would take an exceptionally large dosage of caffeine from coffee in order to boost your metabolism by a significant amount. In one study on the effects of caffeine and metabolism, it was determined that in order to increase the metabolism of a person weighing 150 pounds by as much as 13%, they would have to drink a grand total of seven cups of coffee in order to increase their metabolism by that amount. If you started feeling a bit jittery just listening to that, then trust us, you're not the only one. So while yes, coffee does technically boost your metabolism, don't start thinking of it as a substitute for a good old fashioned diet and exercise. Finally, coffee can also prevent unnecessary weight gain by reducing your appetite and therefore encouraging you to eat less than you normally would. This is because drinking coffee is hypothesized to reduce your body's level of a certain hormone known as ghrelin. Ghrelin is a hormone produced by your gut and sends signals through your bloodstream to your brain, which leads to a feeling of hunger. By reducing the production of ghrelin in your body, your hunger levels also decrease, and as a result, you'll feel less inclined to eat more, thus reducing your risk of overeating. However, the actual effectiveness of coffee as an appetite suppressant is something that the jury is still out on. Some studies indicate that coffee might not actually have a significant amount of impact on whether or not you feel full. So, now that we've covered some of the potential benefits that coffee can have on weight loss, it's time to discuss the elephant in the room. What are some ways in which coffee might affect your weight negatively? For starters, an excess of caffeine can have a negative impact on your sleep patterns, which in turn can make it harder for you to lose weight. We've actually already made an entire video on how a lack of sleep can negatively impact your everyday life. If you haven't already seen it, be sure to check out the effects of sleep deprivation on your body on our channel. Additionally, we previously mentioned that popular added ingredients such as milk and sugar can potentially bog down your coffee with additional calories, effectively undoing the low calorie benefits of black coffee in the first place. Many popular chains of coffee shops also contain caffeinated beverages that are high in sugar and other added ingredients by default, meaning that just because it's technically a coffee doesn't mean that it's necessarily low in calories and sugar. According to some studies, the caffeine found in coffee may also alter your sense of taste and cause you to crave sweet foods, which can potentially lead you to binge on sugary snacks. If you've ever wondered why donuts and other pastries are popular pairings with coffee, this could possibly be an explanation. For low sugar, low calorie alternatives to sweeten up your coffee drinking experience, try swapping out the milk and sugar for cinnamon, coconut or almond milk, vanilla extract, or even dark chocolate. Being one of the most popular and most addictive beverages around the world, it's easy to see why people who drink coffee on a regular basis might be concerned with how the piping hot brew can potentially impact their weight. The good news is this, on its own, black, unmodified coffee will most likely not impact your weight or weight loss goals in a negative way. However, 
Many of these things we associate with coffee, such as added table sugar and pastries, can potentially lead us to fall back into bad habits when it comes to what we consume. At the end of the day, it would seem that coffee itself isn't the problem, but rather the manner in which we enjoy it. Speaking of enjoyment, did you like this video? Is there anything you think we skimmed over here that deserves a closer examination? We're always eager to hear your feedback, so be sure to let us know in the comment section below and help us keep the conversation going. Enjoyed this video? Hit the like button and share with your friends. Also, subscribe to our channel for more videos like this. Thanks for watching.